Hi and welcome to Arise Cake Creations, I'm Sarah and on this tutorial we'll be making this beautiful bridal gladioli which looks harder than it is to make but with a few simple steps you'll have this flower in no time. So let's get started. I've listed all of the tools and equipment that I've used in the description box below including a link to the free template. Begin with three lengths of white florist tape that have been cut into quarters. Stretch the tape to activate the glue and twist each length tightly. Then cut them so each length is six centimetres in length. Measure one centimetre from one end and then roll the remaining lengths together. Use tweezers to curl back the one centimetre area. This is called the pistil. Have three stamen ready. Colour some fine semolina deep burgundy with edible petal dust. Brush some edible glue over the stamen, dip it into the edible pollen, knock off any excess, repeat the process for the other two remaining stamen. When the stamen have dried, use half width white florist tape to take the stamen about 0.5 centimetres down from the pistil. Take an 18 or 20 gauge white florist wire to take the pistol and the stamen to the 18 gauge or 20 gauge wire, whichever one you have. Um, the finished length of the pistil, which I'm showing you here, should be about three to four centimeters in length when the flower is fully assembled, so don't forget that. Have six pieces of 28 or 30 gauge wire ready for your petals. I'm just showing you that for my veiner, I used a, another Lily veiner, um, but just used the top half. I didn't actually have a gladioli cutter for this flower, but I actually modeled and shaped a leaf cutter into place. So this cutter is actually um, about 5.5 centimeters in length and about 1.8 centimeters in diameter. I'm using my vegan gum paste, roll it out. I'm also using my veining rolling pin as well. If you have a veining rolling pin, roll the gum paste out to about one to two millimeters and then use your veining rolling pin over the top. If you don't have a veining rolling pin, there are other ways you can do the veining, such as with a groove board, or I have a video which actually outlines seven different ways that you can actually vein petals and leaves. Cut out your petals and put them into a plastic sleeve ready to be worked on. Brush some edible glue onto one end of your florist wire and gently between your index finger and thumb, holding it carefully, guide your florist wire through the vein line. Use a ball tool to thin the edge of the petals. Then if you have one, use a silicone veiner to actually create the vein lines. As I said, I'm using the top half of this lily veiner to get the impression. If you don't have one, you can also use a veining tool to actually create the lines just going straight down. Mm -hmm. 
Set the petal to dry on the edge of a sponge, making sure that the end is actually curled back. Repeat the process for all the other five petals. When the petals are firmed up slightly for around about, say, 20 to 30 minutes, turn them onto their sides, but actually curve the base slightly, ever so slightly, just so that it has an, a tiny bit more of an extra curve in it as it dries. To make the buds, take some 24 gauge wire and create a hook in one end using some pliers. Roll a small amount of gum paste into a teardrop shape, brush some edible glue onto the end where the hook is and then push the wider end into the teardrop and begin to mould it onto the actual wire itself. Now we're changing the shape slightly um, into almost like a peg shape um, so it's going to be slightly more elongated and longer. make some buds in different shapes and sizes. So to make the buds look a bit more natural, we're going to cut out some flat petals. All you'll need to do is cut them out and then just thin the edges. For a tight bud, we'll just literally brush some edible glue over and wrap the petal round and wrap it round as tight as you can possibly get it. Make some buds that also have either two petals, three petals or four petals so it shows different stages of opening. Roll out some green gum paste. This is now for the calyx. Now, again, I didn't actually have a cutter for this, so I use my wheel cutting tool, or you can use a scalpel or your knife. Um, and it's more like a church window shape at both ends and then just cut in half. Um, this is also in the template as well, which you can find in the description box below. While the calyx are still in the plastic sleeve, use your finger just to smooth down the edges. If you have one, use a corn husk veiner. If you don't, just use your veining tool, which creates straight lines on the actual gum paste for the calyx. Brush edible glue over the surface of the calyx, leaving the tip free, and then wrap it around your bud. Now, if it's a younger bud, obviously there will be more of the calyx wrapped round. If it's a bud that's more open, there'll be less of the calyx wrapped round. Create a slight ridge in the calyx. Add your calyx to all your buds so that you create different stages of budding. 
So to my favourite part, which is dusting, so I'm just showing you the colours that I used here. The petals have a very distinctive colour and the colour is chartreuse, which is more like a green yellow colour. Um, it's slightly deeper at the base and then the colour is um, obviously a line through the centre. Now I'm using a brush that has an angle to it, but you can use a brush that's pointed just to brush the colour on. Brush the younger buds all over with chartreuse to signify a younger bud. And the more open buds, just dust the edge of the petals with the chartreuse colour. Don't forget to dust the calyx as well. Have all of your bits ready with some half width light green florist tape. Take your petal and bend the wire back to a 90 degree angle. Do this for all of your petals ready to be wired together. Stretch your florist tape, tape it to your centre and add your first three petals. The remaining three petals will be taped behind. Tape the tape all the way down and this creates the stem. To create the calyx for the flower I actually use florist tape so cut a length of about six centimetres, cut off one end with that church window like shape. Use a tool that can create score lines into the actual tape without cutting it. Leave about two to three centimetres of the pointed end of the tape exposed as you literally wind the rest of the tape around the rest of the stem of the flower to secure it. Add the light green florist tape to the wire of the buds. Also on each bud, angle them ever so slightly. Also angle the flower slightly as well in the direction of the calyx. Dust a touch of brown with mixed with green around the base of the flowers and also on the flower calyx. Dust the inside of the flower with the chartreuse on the stamen and also on the pistil as well and the base of the flower a deep green. To assemble the flower together start with your youngest bud to tape the buds and the flowers on, it's actually a staggered process. So literally tape and then go down a few centimetres, tape again, down a few centimetres. And I also actually mix my buds in between my flowers as well. So again, it makes it look a bit more natural. 
Now at this stage you can choose to add as many buds or as many flowers as you want to. I actually used around seven buds and the four flowers that you see here. Now it's completely up to you. I would really highly recommend that you look at this flower, um, either search on the internet to see what this flower looks like in nature or if you have access to a real one, that's absolutely fantastic. Look at it, see how it looks so that you can create yours as natural as possible. Once you've completed the process, you'll have this beautiful stem of bridal gladioli, ready to adorn a wedding cake, a celebration cake, or any floral arrangements. Remember, I love seeing your work, so continue to share it with me over on Instagram at Arise Cake Creations or over on Facebook at Arise Cake Creations also. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be updated anytime I upload any new content. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. So until next time, see you soon.